10 Concepts About Style and Stylistics, All You Need to Know. Stylistic is a useful discipline which encourages logical and creative thought and can be transferred to many other areas of academic study, such as discourse analysis or critical reading. In this video, I will answer the top 10 most asked questions about style and stylistics. Number 1. What is style? In literary theory, style is the author's careful choice of words and arrangement of words, sentences, and paragraphs to produce a specific effect on the reader. Style allows the author to shape how the reader experiences the work. For example, one writer may use simple words and straightforward sentences, while another may use difficult vocabulary and elaborate sentence structures. Even if the themes of both works are similar, the differences in the author's styles make the experiences of reading the two works distinct. Number 2. What are the three point of view techniques? An author's style evolves out of the chosen point of view technique. The omnipotent point of view produces a relatively complex style. The first person point of view results in a simple style if it is recorded as spoken, more complex if written. And third person point of view generates a style that typically is slightly elevated above the intelligence level of the focal character. Number three, what are the three types of styles? Style can be broken down into three types, simple, complex, and mid-style. Sometimes authors carry a single style throughout an entire work. Other times, the style may vary within a novel. For example, if the novelist tells a story through the eyes of several different characters, the use of different styles may give each character a distinctive voice. Number four, what is a simple style? A simple style uses common words and simple sentences, even if the situation described is complex. The effect of the simple style can be to present facts to the reader without appealing to the reader's emotions directly. Instead, the writer relies on the facts themselves to affect the reader. American author Ernest Hemingway is widely known for a spare economical style that nevertheless provokes an emotional reaction. Number five, what is a complex style? A complex style uses long, elaborate sentences that contain many ideas and descriptions. The writer uses lyrical passages to create the desired mood in the reader, whether if it is one of joy, sadness, confusion, or any other emotion. American author Henry James uses a complex style to great effect in his novels. Number 6. What is a mid-style style? A mid-style is a combination of the simple and complex styles. It can give a neutral tone to the book or it can provide two different effects by contrast. Thai American writer S.P. Somto uses the mid-style in Jasmine Nights. Number 7. Can writers use more than one style? Some authors use more than one style within a novel. This approach allows the author flexibility in choosing which style is appropriate at different points in the work, depending on the situation and on the character or characters being portrayed. Novelists who have mixed styles include the American writer Herman Melville in such work as Moby Dick, and the Irish writer James Joyce in his Ulysses. Number 8. What is stylistics? Style has been a subject of interest for a very long time, and it has acquired its own field of study called stylistics. This branch of applied linguistics studies and interprets text and spoken language from the point of view of their linguistic and tonal styles, with great considerations given to situations or settings. For example, the vernacular or everyday language may be used in a casual setting, such as two friends chit-chatting in a bar, while a more formal language may be used while speaking to a superior at work or in the text of a cover letter and resume. Number 9. What is stylistic analysis? Stylistic analysis in literary studies is usually made for the purpose of commenting on quality and meaning in a text. The purpose of a stylistics analysis is to understand and interpret a text. Thus, an extremely careful attention is paid to the text in its every detail. The process of the analysis will reveal the good and or bad qualities of the writing under analysis. Number 10. Can you stylistically analyze non-literary texts? Stylistic analysis of a non-literary text involves studying in detail the features of a piece of writing from such genres as news reports, articles, opinions, editorials, etc. The method of analysis of a non-literary text is not different from the one used to analyze a literary text. The text is being looked at in great detail, observing what the parts are and identifying the function they perform in the given context. Conclusion Stylistic analysis is practiced as a part of understanding the possible meanings in a text. 
But in order to understand the meanings and the allusions implied in a text, the reader has to be equipped with knowledge of linguistics and possess a special schema. The fact that stylistic analysis can be applied to a large variety of texts makes it a useful and important discipline to anyone interested in literature and the written word.